So I'm trying to film. But my dog won't stop crying. I don't want to let him out of the cage. But I might kill him if I don't. Teddy. Shut your mouth. I finally did it, guys. The room's finally clean. Just kidding. Yeah, all this stuff is craft supplies I've yet to put away. And um, the reason it's a lot more empty than the last time is because we had our carpets cleaned. I have not filmed all week and it is officially the weekend. I'm stepping into the light so y'all can see me. Filming now. But I'm also on a tea break, if you can believe it. Ew, is that a booger? I'm also on a tea break, if you can believe it. And I've been severely lacking, obviously, some vertical content. But I really want to focus more on my YouTube. Um, but to get that, you know, popping, I guess, is to blow up on, like, other platforms, unfortunately. But I'm working on it. I'm filming this now. I want so badly to smoke right now. But I don't even have anything to smoke, so that's a win for me in my book. Um, on another note, we've been working a garage sale um, every weekend since last weekend. And um, it's been rather successful. I have also been selling paintings on Depop, which I really, really appreciate anyone who is shopping for my Depop. Thank you so much. It means literally the world to me. The fact that I'm selling paintings on there. And they're old paintings, but still. Um, I love it. I really want to get this update all wrapped up because I really want to film some more content. Some more vertical content. Um, and yeah. Um, I swear to God, if I didn't live on a farm... Oh, it's Saturday, which means I'm streaming today. I totally forgot I was doing that. I am exhausted, so we'll see how much I actually get done. But I think I, I have enough energy to do a lot. Anyways, thank you all again for shopping on my Depop. Thank you for watching these videos. I hate him. I'm gonna go, because the farm is talking and I don't want to hear it so bye I'll be back hey guys so I've done a little bit of progress also I'll just yeah the pile is somewhat gone this is kind of like how I, how it was when I first set up the pile but over here I'll just I hate explaining this because it's still a mess <laughs> I'm gonna come to the far end of the room and explain. So over here, miscellaneous fabrics, art supplies. Other art supplies, but it's all glass. Um, and then the pile. And then here, empty box, a bag of storage items. And uh, how do I work my finger? Here, all my candles. And, or empty candles and candle jars so and just empty jars and containers in general I recycle screw sue me so now what I think I'm gonna do is go through this pile finally as we know this suitcase is dry cleaning and then the rest of it I still have to go through and then this fun little box is just a fun little box that I might need to end up getting shelves for I'm starting to realize I am just gonna need more shelves in general. I just have no idea where to put them. Oh, and then I got this snazzy new table. I don't even think I told y'all about it. And these shelves. That's kind of what I have going on right now. And I am about to film some footage where I kind of finish going through everything. I'm not gonna record that for YouTube, unfortunately. I found that what was keeping me from actually organizing and cleaning this room was the pressure of filming so that's why I ended up doing a bunch of this off camera and even filming like vertical videos I found was just pressuring me too much um, which in the past it has helped me to like a sort of a body double um, and to keep me off my phone but 
that's not the case these days. I couldn't explain why if I tried, but I did what I had to do. And now the room's clean and now we can do more updates. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to film some vertical footage for like TikTok and Reels and stuff. I've been posting a little bit more on my socials because I want to be more active what with the end of the year coming up, the holiday season, blah blah blah. You know how it is. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. I'm also streaming again today on Sunday. Um, so if you're interested in watching me stream Stardew Valley, make sure you're tuning into my Twitch channel. But anyway, I'm done rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Okay, so I've made a little bit of progress. I think um, if you see that box is now empty and I'm sitting here with my record player and all my records got some more right here too and I'm eating some pizza um, and I'm gonna show off my records that I have so this is an old record collection um, and I'll just show y'all what I have I think so this pile I have right here I'm I think I'm gonna keep I might add some to this pile that I'm getting rid of um, and then this pile back here that I have is like ambiance, classical, French, just vibey music that I like. But these albums, these are really interesting to me. And um, unfortunately though, the record player itself only has one working speaker and the volume doesn't go all the way up anymore. Because like I said, it's an old record player um, from when I was in high school. And I'm surprised it's lasted this long even, but I think as much as it turns up is a good volume to keep me focused as well as have a nice little mood setting. But anyway, let's get into these records. So first we have Frank, we gotta have Frank. Um, as far as morality goes when it comes to artists, I try to pay attention to that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, this is an old record. A lot of the older records I have, I actually got from my grandpa. And I did like Frank for a long time. And who doesn't love jazz? I'm pretty sure he was jazz. But, um, and then we have Dean Martin. Conway Twitty. Um, I kept this one from my grandpa because one, my grandma loved Conway Twitty. And I think my grandpa does too. But when we would go on trips to San Antonio to visit family, this is all we listened to in the car. A whole ride. I think it's like a four or five hour drive. And we only listened to Conway Twitty. I got this for um, the nostalgia. It's uh, Dick Clark's 20 years of rock and roll. And I think I might get rid of this. I don't know. Oh, I see Palenka, put your head on my, anyway, uh, let's put that over there. We got some Tom Jones. I'm not really into Tom Jones, but my family is. So I think I'm gonna put this in the get rid pile. Um, I'm pretty sure the only reason I kept it is because my family is also into it. This is the, the record that I got with my record player, but it was scratched. It was a used record, obviously. It's Pat Benatar. If you didn't know. I love rock and roll. Right? Oh, some more Frank. Strangers in the night. Do 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 do. Na -de -na -de -na. I love Frank. And then I only kept this one because if I'm being honest, there was like a TV show or something where someone had this as a t-shirt and the t-shirt was really interesting to me. And then I saw the record for it, for the same album, and so I kept it. And this is even still in the plastic, and my grandpa had this. So maybe it belonged to like one of my aunts or something, but you snooze, you lose. And now we're getting into me being in high school and buying my own records. So, Arctic Monkeys, can't go wrong. Then I have an Alt-J record. I only liked one song by them, but for some reason, it was enough for me to get a two volume record. Oh, sorry about that. And then I actually saw them in concert, the XX. Um, they're also like a vibe music. Like they're not really lyrical. They're like Arctic Monkeys and Alt-J. I mean, if you know, you know. 
but yeah super cool my um, best friend in high school actually got me into them so super cool memories I just wanted to show y'all because I had mentioned going through that box with y'all on camera so that's what I done did um, so oh, I don't know where I'm gonna end up storing this stuff I'll figure it out but yeah I'm gonna get back to cleaning this room and it looks like I'm about to have to turn on the light so I'll be back <music> done here in the art room let me maybe face the light I'm pretty much done here in the art room um, for the most part I have some stuff that I still have to bring in here but I made a bunch of progress for sure like um, all my records are gone this is now the pile and everything's organized so I have like some music stuff this all goes on a shelf I know that for a fact everything in this blue bin goes on a shelf and then these two red boxes are organized and these two these two bins are also organized um what else we've got my tea table just some random bags and some dishes nothing major and then we've got my desks and shelves and all that jazz super cool super fun something i could do should i I'm thinking of bringing my love seat in here already because I have this big old space here in the middle of the room and that's what I wanted to do with the love seat anyways. I plan on putting it right in the middle of the room and so I think I am just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way um, if I'm able. Regardless, I'm happy with the progress I've made so far. This is also probably gonna be the end of the video um, just because I'm getting ready to start editing and stuff. So. Also gonna cross my fingers that I have enough footage, um, and I should, I should have enough footage, even though it was mostly just me talking to y'all, and not really me cleaning in front of y'all. I think it's still good stuff. I'm looking into getting some more shelves, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for watching. Um, I'll be live on Twitch on Wednesday when this goes live, hopefully. Don't forget to follow me on all my other socials. They'll be linked in my link tree in the description. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Say bye, box. Bye. <laughs>